Yes! What's up guys? I am John the Potter. Welcome back to another video. Look at these beautiful fall colors. Look at this tree I'm going under right now. Thing is like orange, yellow. It's beautiful. It's a little chilly, but not too bad. It's fall in Minnesota. Not as good as summer, but better than winter. All right, we're headed in to do some glazing in the studio. So we're gonna do a little glazing tutorial. I'm gonna show you how to glaze like a big bowl, because I got some secrets to share about that. Look at these trees. Look at these scenes. Ah, so we're gonna glaze a drippy mug, so drips coming down, and then we're gonna do just like a Canyon Skies mug. So we're gonna do three different things and kind of go through the detailed and then we'll do kind of before and after what it looks like. Woo! So if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. I deal with all things clay, business, entrepreneurship, life, mostly pottery. This is my backyard golf course. We'll see you in the studio. Here we are in the studio. All right, we are glazing. So this glaze candle is pretty much Almost full already. Okay, I lied. It's not almost full. Once these mugs are done, once those mugs are done, and once we show you what we're doing in here, then we'll be full. So we're gonna glaze a couple things. We're gonna glaze a mug that looks like this. So it'll be that Canyon Skies glaze. We're gonna do one mug that looks like this. So it'll have those sweet, sweet, buttery, smooth drips dripping down. That's my fave. And then we're gonna do a big bowl that will look similar to this. And I'm gonna show you my tips and my secrets for glazing bigger pieces without like dipping half of it and then twisting it and then dipping another half. Or if your compartments that you have glaze in are too small and your pieces are too big to dip them, then how you get around that. All right, we're gonna switch lenses, put this thing on a tripod. All right, now let's do it. First things we're doing to get this glaze on this mug. So we're gonna dip the whole thing first in this glaze, which is Albany Brown, and then we will dip the top layer in this one, which is matte white, and then there's another glaze called buttercream that will dip on a third layer on top of that. So the first thing we have to do is do this one, which we'll just mix that up first. Always, always, always mix up your glazes. Then we'll take our tongs tool, grab onto that, and dip that first that first layer. And we put some wax around the bottom of that so the glaze does not stick to the bottom. Okay, so now we're putting the second layer of glaze on this mug that is the Canyon Skies. So this is a matte white glaze. I'm gonna dip that in there. Swirl it around a little bit. So this is that Canyon Sky. So we got Albany Brown and then matte white around the top. And now it's dry enough that I can dip it in the buttercream. So we're gonna go do that right now. I'll take it with me. Ready? Sorry for that shaky, shaky video. There we go. So that is that one. So that's our one, Canyon Sky. Let me just go turn that ice machine off really quick. Boom, okay, that's better. So now, I'm gonna show you how to get these drips in here. So this would be my Northern Lights Glaze, which is a black with metallic green on top, and then buttercream. And it's really important that your glaze thickness is correct. So if you haven't seen that video that I did about glaze thickness, go back and watch that. Again, mix up that glaze. And then, so for this one, we want, obviously we want the inside glazed, but not all of the outside. So that means that we pour, so we'll take a something to pour with. We'll pour that black glaze inside the mug, right? And then I like to twist that around. We got a little, I got a little drip there, but I'll just rub that off with a sponge. And then pour it out. And then we'll go in here and dip down about a third 
maybe slightly less than a third down. And I don't really worry about it being like a straight line. I remember when I first started, I always like wanted it to be straight, but actually now I prefer it to be a little bit uneven. So I don't, I actually kind of just jiggle it around. And then since I don't want this black drip right on there, I'll just take a sponge and take that off. I mean, it's best if I can just pour it so that it doesn't do that, but you know what? I'm not perfect, even though I've done this to thousands of mugs. All right, so then the next one we'll do is a metallic green, and then all we'll do is just dip it from the top, and we'll go right to there, maybe a little bit more, and then we'll, after that dries, then we'll go to the buttercream and dip that third layer on top so that it has three layers, which causes it to have that dripping. All right, so we're mixing up this green. That's gonna end up like this. So now we're gonna dip it in this green, and I'm gonna, ready, dip. I'm gonna move it around, kind of shake it around a little bit. So that green just kind of went right over that black. We'll just like go like this so that it, because if you, if you just hold it like this, then all that glaze is gonna kind of go to one side and then you're gonna get uneven drips. And we want those drips to be pretty evenly all the way around. All right, and then we'll wait for this to dry. Always important that before you're dipping new layers, that you're letting the old layers dry completely. All right, and then the last layer for this one, this is the one that we want it to drip. So we're also gonna put this buttercream on here so I can feel that it's completely dry around the top. And then I will go into there, go down, kind of shuffle it around a little bit. And so we still have, you know, around two thirds, a little less over here, but that should be a good amount to drip. And watch, like this one will just totally drip completely off. Now nah, I think it'll be good. Okay, so now we're gonna glaze a bowl that looks similar to this. And what this bowl is, is it has black around the rim and there's just a little bit of black around the rim there. And then it has green on the whole thing everywhere. That's what that green looks like. And then it has the buttercream on top of that green, which creates those really cool colors up there and then also creates that really deep uh, variation of green down at the bottom too. But, so the key thing about bowls is we, we like to load the glaze on on the inside, but we don't wanna load it on so much on the outside because it has a tendency to drip off because there's not that much room here. So we want like just barely three layers around the top on the outside, but then we want lots of dripping going on on the inside. So, this is really, really, So this takes a few times to get used to, but once you can get the hang of this, it's very helpful for glazing larger things like this. So we're gonna take our pitcher, and then we're just, here, let me move, I'm gonna move the camera so you can see. We only wanna get around the rim, right? So we're gonna take our glaze. So as I pour this, I'm moving this pot, right? So now you can see there, I have put that black just around the edge and it just barely got around the top, around the edge, or on the, on the other side. So we get more on the inside and just a little bit on the outside and that's kind of what we want to go for. So then the next thing we'll do is do the same thing with the green. But this time we'll pour it around the edge and then also pour it on the inside so it gets there and then also pour it around the outside too. Okay, so the secret of all secrets. How do you glaze big pieces consistently? If you can't dip them, I'm gonna show you how I do it right now. Okay, so we have this whole bowl and it's pretty big and we want it to be green and we want it to be consistent. We don't want like dipping lines or whatever. So you can do this in any order you want, but the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour around the outside. So from the bottom, I'm moving. So 
So I just moved this in a circle as I was pouring, and then it came right off there. I don't know if my arm was in the way, but I'm sorry if it was. So then once that dries, I'll take a sponge and get all that extra off right now. So once that dries, then we kind of do the same thing where we'll pour it around the edge. So now I can touch the backside because this is dry. So then now we take this green and we pour it just along the edge, just like we did with the black. Right? And then right at the end when we're done, we'll pour it, it in the middle. Move it around so it touches all the clay and then pour it out. And so now the whole pot is glazed in that green. It has that black around the edge. And then we'll do one more where we like turn and pour with that buttercream so that we like get a really thick edge of buttercream. Alrighty, are you with me so far? Comment below, tell me if this is uh, helping you, if this is like blowing your mind. If this is like, oh yeah, John the Potter, that's old news, who cares about that? I've been doing that for years. The last glaze that we're gonna put on here is gonna be that buttercream. And so we wanna do the same thing where we're gonna turn the bowl as we pour it to get it around the edge nice and even. And then when we're done doing that, then we're gonna pour it into the middle so it coats the whole middle and then we'll pour it out. So, all right, ready? And this takes, like, I didn't wasn't this good at this right away when I started doing this. So, ready? Can you see that as I pour it? Here, let me change the angle so you can see it. So then you watch me just pour this around the edge. Ready? <clears throat> so that gives it a nice consistent around the edge and then I'll pour it in the middle. I'll swish it around capture all that bare clay pour it out and there it is so then now it has that black around the edge it has the green on the whole thing including here and then it has the buttercream but we have those three really like it's a really small thin layer around the top so we don't have to worry about it dripping off that much but then we get those amazing colors the inside. So once again, that's what we're gonna looking for. Our, actually, it's not sea green, it's uh, slightly different than that one. Thanks for watching this video. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. We, on this channel, we do all things pottery, clay, business, entrepreneurship, fun things in life. We're all about the fun vlog styles, but we also like to teach. I like to show you what I'm making. I like to teach you how to make new things, how to do new things with clay, and I like to entertain. I mean, I made mugs while I was surfing. What else have we done that was entertaining? I played 100 holes of golf. We instruct, we inspire, we entertain. That's what we do here. Comment below, tell me what you think of this video. Tell me how you glaze, if this is different, if you learned something, what other videos do you wanna see? I think that's it. I think that is it for today. We're gonna fire up this kiln, tune into the next video to see how everything came out. You can call me stupid. Yes, you can call me sheep. You can say I'm